what's going on Cardinal Nation this fun up guy here well what a great great day today great way um, to get back to the season as we sweep the doubleheader over the Chicago White Sox win five to one and uh, seven five one and six three yeah, over the Chicago White Sox. Um, and our first game since the 29th of July, hard to believe, or two weeks since our last game. Um, and yeah, so I'm just happy that we won both of these games. Um, and well, we got to see a number of major league debuts in, in these two games. Um, including our top prospect, Dylan Carlson. And also, pitcher Jake Wood Woodford. And, uh, infielder Max Schrock. I think I'm saying, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Schrock. So, they would all make their major league debuts. So, that was pretty exciting to see. Uh, Molina and Dion still, uh, have COVID-19. Um, so, but yeah, so we'll go up for nothing. Um, and by the way, I'm going to talk about both of the games in this video. Um, we'll go up for nothing on a base loaded hit by a pitch by Matt Carpenter, hit by a pitch by Lucas Giolito. That will put us up one nothing. And then we'll go up three to nothing. RBI single by Dexter Fowler, scored two runs, put us up 3 0. Um, and then Andrew Kisner made his first appearance of the year, but put us up 4 0, so four runs in that first inning. Uh, put us up 4 0, and Adam Wainwright today in the first game was very good. Went five innings. Um, and then bullpen hang on to get the win. Giovanni Gallegos and John Gann. In game one, we won that one 5 1, and then just uh, not even an hour later, we got right back to it. Um, and well, the White Sox would take a 1 nothing lead on a home run by Luis Robert. Luis Robert, rookie, and one of baseball's top prospects. Uh, that will put them up, put them up one nothing, off of Jake Woodford making his debut. Um, and that would actually be the only hit that he would allow was that home run to Luis Robert. And after that, no, no hits after that. So he was very good. Um, then we were tied at one. Uh, home run by Paul Goldschmidt. That would tie it at one. And the White Sox would go up three to one on a two and a homer by Eloy Jimenez. That would put them up three one. Uh, and then we would tie it at three on a RBI by Tommy Edmonds. Score two runs. Put us or that would tie it at three. Um, and then Tyler O'Neill a two run homer. His third of the year that would put us up 5 3 um, and we eventually be up 6 3. And also in the second game, uh, infielder Brad Miller made his first appearance with the Cardinals. We signed him in the offseason. Uh, he can play a lot of positions, Brad Miller. So that would put us up 6 3. And then we would also get to see the return. Of pitcher Alex Reyes, who made his major debut in 2016. Uh, he's also made a few starts for us. This was his first appearance in the major league since May of 2018, so over two years. Missed all of last year, recovering from Tommy John surgery. Um, and well, when Back in 2016, he was like one of our top prospects. And yes, yeah, so that was good to see him return. 
with the scoreless inning, his ERA is at zero, as well as Tyler Webb, and then Andrew Miller would get the save. So, yeah, very, very happy that we won both of these games over a pretty solid, decent White Sox team that has pretty good hitters. So, so yeah, so the final game of the series, Sunday, as I believe we have Dakota Hudson on the mound. Um, have to check, but yeah, final game of this series before we go on the north side of Chicago to face the Cubs at Wrigley Field, um, which will be the start of a five-game series in three days with the Cubs this week. So, yeah, got a lot of double headers coming up. So, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys think so till Sunday, 1 o'clock, I believe. Fun up, guys, saying go cards.